The best PC soundbar is a sleek speaker that takes up little more space than the footprint of your monitor, but delivers big, powerful sound. No more annoying outboard speakers with pathetically cheap cables. Stereo soundbars are the new big thing in the PC sound. What's up, guy? Welcome back to our channel. And today video, we take a look at the six best PC soundbars that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information, we also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks. Let's get started with the video. Starting up our list with number 6, we have Solian R30 PC soundbar. Let's get started with a low price speaker. The R30 soundbar by Solian is a nifty little speaker that costs a little more than $20. This is a 2.0 soundbar, which means it offers just left and right channels via two 5 watt speakers. It also uses two passive bass radiators to flesh out the low end for a fuller sound. The Solian R30 soundbar came with a small size as 16.34 by 3.94 by 3.15 inches and weighed at 1.43 pounds, make it easy to fit everywhere on your PC desk or under the monitor while you're gaming. For connectivity, there are two ways into this speaker, a 3.5mm jack and USB. When it sits under your PC screen or TV, you only need to plug in the USB cable, and it will both power the speaker and bring in the sound. However, for a device like a smartphone or a tablet, you'll need to plug in the USB connection to a charger for power, and the 3.5mm jack into the device's audio out port for sound. There is no Bluetooth, of course, but for this low price, what can we expect? The two ends of the bar are lined with LED glow lights that slowly change color with your music. Not in step to your music or anything, they simply cycle through a pattern of repeating color changes. The lights are smooth enough, but not very exciting. You can turn them off and on with the button next to the volume dial. This soundbar is about where you might expect it to be sound-wise. That it is, if you think it will sound okay, and at least better than your old crappy computer speakers, you're right. You can crank to level up pretty high and get a big sound with this bar, but it won't sound anything more than mediocre. The louder you go, the more line noise you get too. And the mid-range is fine, the high end is a bit too sharp, but not crackling. But the bass, there is none. This soundbar is pretty good for the low, low price. As a result, it's one of the cheapest PC soundbars on the market. At number 5, we have Dell AC511M Stereo Soundbar. The next PC soundbar on my list is nearly double the price of the first. It's the Stereo Soundbar from Dell, a PC manufacturer who supposedly knows what you want in a home computing station. One thing is clear, Dell has made an extra effort to make this soundbar unobtrusive. It comes with a mount that will enable it to clip onto the stand of most desktop monitors, though it can also sit right on your desktop. At 15.9 by 1.5 by 1.9 inches in profile, its ultra-thin and weigh at 1 pounds makes me feel like it would be easy to break if I ever used it as a baseball bat. That said, it's one of the best easy-to-mount PC soundbars you can buy. Just like the Solian R30, this Dell bar connects to your PC, TV, or phone by USB and a 3.5mm jack. Unfortunately, the USB a plug provided is only about 12 inches long, which is ridiculous, unless you have a desktop USB port already. Otherwise, it likely won't reach to your tower. You won't find any gimmicky color-changing LED. Instead, the soundbar has a built-in mic. You can take calls and group meetings on it and be heard clearly enough. As for your end, speech sounds are clear enough and gaming sounds fine, I guess. But for movies or music, you're not in the right price range yet. The sound is again mediocre and crackly at high volume. It has basically no bass like the Solian R30 as well. Conversely, if you just need a simple PC soundbar for calls or watching the occasional video, this could be fine. But for music, movies, and epic gaming, look elsewhere. At number 4, we have the Samsung HWN300 PC soundbar. Let's move up to a different price point. This is the entrance to the realm of high-priced PC soundbars, but just the entrance, so don't get too nervous yet. At about $130, the Samsung TV Mate soundbar is an option that will also work for your PC soundbar if you wanted to. At 28.1 by 6.9 by 6.7 inches in size and weight at 5.90 pounds, this is a much bigger soundbar than what we've looked at so far. It's actually designed, as the TV Mate name tells you, for widescreen TV. But under your computer screen, this bar will give you some big fat sound. A typical Samsung product, this bar is basic black and doesn't have any extra bells and whistles like LED strips. What it does have is a solid Bluetooth connection and an optical audio jack for getting sound from your computer or TV out into the world. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't come with an optical audio cable to connect to your devices. It also has a USB port that you can connect to from your computer or a device like your phone. If you don't want to use Bluetooth, that is. Again, there's no battery on board here to let you use the bar as a Wi-Fi speaker. But with the size of this thing, it's not portable anyway. In fact, on the downside, it does take up an awful lot of desk space. There's no comparison to what we've seen before, only contrast. Using two channels of dual drivers plus a rear sound port, this bar gives you a lot of sound. Furthermore, it's one of the most powerful PC soundbars you can buy. It's big and full. And yes, there is some bass in there. At high volume, the high end can get tinny, but at regular levels, this thing blasts anyway. It's clear and powerful. You might not want to get too close. At number 3, we have the Dynamic SK-010 RGB Computer Sound Bar. If we sneak up in price to around the $50 mark, we're going to get a much better soundbar with the Dynamic RGB Soundbar by Bluetooth. We might just try. For the first time, we're looking at a PC soundbar with Bluetooth connectivity which makes this a somewhat more versatile machine. While you can connect to a computer or TV via USB and a phone or tablet throughout 3.5mm AUX, you also get Bluetooth 5.0 here. And that means you can leave the speaker in place and connect to it from your devices around the room easily enough. The Dynamic SK-010 RGB come with 16.42 by 2.99 by 2.68 inches in size and weight at 2.00 pounds. It's a bit heavy but however, there is still no battery in the soundbar and that means it needs to be plugged into a charger at all times. You're also getting something a bit better here, but still there's no booming bass but there is bass and that's a step in the right direction. Each of the left and right channels uses dual drivers for a wider sound range. This speaker is a lot clearer and fuller sounding than any of the soundbars I've shown you so far, even if it's still not great. The LED lights come on a strip on the bottom. These can be set to change quickly or slowly, to stay a solid color, or to change along to your music or other audio. This is a pretty cool feature for listening to music at your next party. Overall, I'd say this speaker is worth the extra money. It has a much better sound quality, bass build-in, dual drivers channel, and has Bluetooth connectivity, so you can use it for a lot more than just your PC soundbar. At number 2, we have the Redragon GS560 Atomus RGB Desktop Soundbar. The Atomus by Redragon is a lot like the Solian R30 we saw earlier. It's about the same size at 15.75 by 2.76 by 2.76 inches, and weight at 2.2 pounds as LED display, and is powered by two speakers. It's also double the price. So what gives? Is this double the speaker or double the quality? Well, let's take a look. The drivers here are 4-watt cones, which are smaller than the 5-watt speakers in the Solian R30. It also has passive bass radiators, but here they do seem to work. Just a bit, anyway. Like the previous two soundbars, you're not going to find a lot of bass here, but there is a little teeny tiny bit more than what the others offer. With a light touch, the backlit mode of the RGB lighting bar can be switched with four modes. The volume can be precisely adjusted via the classic sound knob adjustment. Overall, the sound quality is not much different from what we've seen. At low volume, things are clear enough. When you pump it up, you'll get some unpleasant high-end crackle. With full-range 2.0 channel enhanced stereo core, the 4 watts power produces rich and crystal audio for gaming, music, and movie. When we talk about connections and power option, the Redragon GS560 Atomus soundbar come without battery power or Bluetooth. So, it's not going to double as a portable speaker as some other soundbars can. It connects via USB and 3.5mm jack with the same limitations that we've seen before. You can connect to your phone, but it'll also need to plug the USB into a charger for power. The LED lights here, though, are way cool. A strip along the bottom of the speaker can be set to dynamic, flowing, audio synced, or solid color. The last product on our list is the Blaster X Katana the best overall budget PC soundbar available on the 2022 market. Sound Blaster has thrown its hat into the ring with their Katana. This is a combination soundbar and outboard subwoofer setup, but look at the size of it. At 8.1 by 26.7 by 19.7 inches in size and weight at 17.60 pounds, this thing is the real giant. That subwoofer isn't tiny either. Together, they're going to take up a fair bit of desk or floor space, so beware if this is at a premium. Like some of the cheaper soundbars, this one returns to the LED strip along the bottom. I guess it's there to add some excitement to gaming, but otherwise isn't a real value. If you could move this speaker around as a Wi-Fi speaker, 
It might be cool for listening parties, but with no battery, it has to stay plugged in the corner. The Blaster X Katana costs nearly $250, which is the highest price point on our list of the best budget PC soundbar. So, of course, it has optical USB, a UX, and Bluetooth connections ready to take in anything you want to throw at it. And it has a 5-driver system to shoot sound back out at you. The Blaster X Katana is extremely well-balanced. We found that it got an incredibly immersive feel from the soundstage it offered. The whole unit is powerful, maybe too powerful considering its intended close-to-user positioning. The bass can just about crack your ribs. Well, the sound of this soundbar is the best on our list when it's working. But unfortunately, this isn't all the time. Switching between different input sources seems to throw off the balance in the speaker system, resulting in diminished sound quality when you change sources. For this, some bogginess just shouldn't expect. Thanks for watching, that's all for today's video. Hope all of you guys enjoy the video. Thanks.